We are back to our weekly AI news. And today we'll be talking about the latest AI news that you need to know. Whether you're an AI enthusiast or simply someone who wants to use AI for efficiency. So the first and probably the most shocking was when Sarah Silverman, Christopher Golden and Richard Kadri sued OpenAI and Meta in US District Court for claiming they're big-time copycats. The suits claim that OpenAI's ChatGPT and Meta's Llama were trained on illegal datasets from Shadow Library, websites like Bibliotech, Library Genesis, Z Library and others, where the books are available in bulk via torrent systems. The trio provides evidence that ChatGPT summarizes their books when asked, violating their copyrights. The displays begin with ChatGPT summarizing Silverman's Bad Wetter, followed by Golden's Ararat and Kadri's Sandman Slim. The chatbot never reproduced any of the copyright management information plaintiffs included with their published works, according to the allegation. This week, they have responded in this article, and OpenAI claimed that the authors misconceived the scope of copyright, failing to take into account the limitations and exceptions including fair use, they properly leave room for innovations like the large language models now at the forefront of artificial intelligence. Even if the writer's books compromise a tiny part of ChatGPT's enormous dataset, OpenAI says the use of copyrighted materials by innovators in transformative ways does not violate copyright. OpenAI claimed that its goals was to teach its models to derive the rules underlying human language to help people save time at work, make daily life easier, or entertain themselves by typing prompts into ChatGPT, plagiarist, profits from distributing copyrighted materials. The purpose of copyright law, OpenAI argued, is to promote the progress of science and useful arts by protecting the way authors express ideas, but not the underlying idea itself facts embodied with the author's articulated messages or other building blocks of creative, which are arguably the elements of author's works that would be useful to ChatGPT's training model. Citing a notable copyright case involving Google Books, OpenAI reminded the court that while an author may register a copyright in her book, the statistical information pertaining to word frequencies, syntactic patterns, and thematic markers in that book are beyond the scope of copyright protection. The second news might come shocking according to this article titled Survey Finds Relatively Few Americans Actually Use or Fear Chat GPT. Due to its tech popularity, you could imagine everyone utilizes Chat GPT or another AI tools for job automation or garden planning. Recent Pew survey shows the language model isn't as popular or hazardous as thought. Ongoing polling by Pew Research shows that although ChatGPT is gaining mindshare, only about 18% of Americans have ever actually used it. Of course, that changes by demographic. Men, those 18 to 29 and the college educated are more likely to have used the system, though even among those groups, it's 30 to 40%. Anecdotal findings suggest that consumers use the chatbot occasionally or casually to summarize an unknown field. More users use it for entertainment or to learn something than for business. What's the Higgs boson and tell me a fairy tale about Timothy Chalamet are more common than write a Python script to extract title and abstract from a given database of neuroscience papers. Only 90% of employed people who'd heard of the concept expected it to seriously hurt their job, while 27% expected no impact. Fewer 15% thought it would help. However, those in information and technology, education and finance are more likely to expect large or moderate changes. Few people responded to hospitality, entertainment and building and manufacturing. Speaking of OpenAI, one news about tech giant was its possibility of going bankrupt. This was posted mid-August, with the title OpenAI may go bankrupt by end of 2024. Costs $700,000 to operate ChatGPT daily. The article says, OpenAI, the company responsible for making artificial intelligence a household name, might be staring at a bleak future. The Sam Altman-led company might go bankrupt as soon as by the end of 2024 if it continues to burn cash at the current rate, according to a report by Analytics India magazine. OpenAI has rolled out ChatGPT Enterprise, 
perhaps to expand its horizons and deliver extra values to its users. According to the news launch, ChatGPT Enterprise offers enterprise-grade security and privacy, unlimited higher-speed GPT-4 access, longer context windows for processing longer inputs, advanced data analysis capabilities, customization options, and much more. OpenAI believes that AI can assist and elevate every aspect of working lives and make teams more creative and productive. According to OpenAI, organizations are demanding ChatGPT like never before. Over 80% of Fortune 500 organizations have adopted it since its inception nine months ago. Business leaders want a simple and secure approach to execute it. Leaders including Block, Canva, Carlyle, the Estee Lauder companies, PwC, and Zapier are reorganizing as ChatGPT Enterprise users. ChatGPT helps them improve communication, speed up coding, solve tough business questions, and be innovative. Moving forward, Western countries have been engaged in fierce competition to develop the best AI technologies, and China has now given the green light to another AI bot that can go head-to-head -head with OpenAI and Google's BART. This was posted in this article titled, Baidu launches Ernie chatbot after Chinese government approval. It says that Ernie bot is now available for download from app stores or Baidu website. Much like its main rival, ChatGPT, users can ask Ernie bot questions or prompt it help to write market analysis, give marketing slogan ideas, and summarize documents. ErnieBot is available globally, but users need a Chinese number to register and log in. The Baidu app is available on US Android and iOS app stores, but is only in Chinese. The bot has been widely accepted that it gained over 1 million users within the first 19 hours after its launch. Reuters reported that before going commercial, Baidu and other businesses had to pass security assessments to the government and meet China's generative AI criteria. Moving on to the next AI news is Elon's AI-powered car and he conducted a 45-minute live stream showcasing the fully self-driving V12 beta software for his Tesla. During the live stream, Musk explained how the Tesla relies on all its onboard cameras and AI for autonomous driving. And the remarkable part is that it can operate without needing an internet connection. Most of the essential data is stored right on the car's computer. The test drive itself went quite smoothly, with the Teslas successfully navigating through traffic cones, roundabouts, and obeying traffic signals. There was just one minor hiccup when it almost ran a red light due to a green turn signal, but they intervened to prevent it. Musk also highlighted that each intervention like this helps the car learn and become smarter over time, continuously improving its performance. Now AI can now help you with your dinner plans, because Samsung unveiled its AI-powered food app to deliver tailored recipes and suggestions for eating cold food. Food has 160,000 recipes and it's available in 8 languages and 104 countries. Samsung announced on Wednesday, the app's ambitions appear as high as its name, Food. The business said, the app serves as a personalized assistant that helps users discover new dishes, create tailored meal plans, and order ingredients online. Since Samsung makes a wide range of cooking appliances, the app should also help users control their appliances and give step-by-step -step cooking directions. Depending on the recipe picked by the users, the app could set timers, preheat ovens, or change cooking settings. Another AI update is also anchored on food under the AI DoorDash. It is an AI-powered system to help restaurants take orders over their phone without any dedicated merchant manpower. The delivery giant said is a response to one in five delivery customers preferring to order takeout over the phone, an internal research showing that half of those customers' calls go unanswered. According to the article, customers expect more from restaurateurs, and in return, restaurateurs expect even more technology-forward solutions from us, including support for phone channels to meet customers where they're ordering said Rajat Shroff, head of product and design in DoorDash, supporting operators by capturing customer demand through investments in our voice product is one way we're delivering more and enabling our partners to grow their business. Meanwhile, 
Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi recently told Bloomberg Television that the company was developing an AI chatbot. Reportedly, this is an AI-powered chatbot that will offer recommendations to users and offer them a quicker way to place orders, according to a news report from Bloomberg. The report says, developer Steve Mosser discovered details about the chatbot inside of code hidden within the Uber Eats app. The chatbot will inquire about users' budget and food preferences, and then assist them in making an order. As for when Uber intends to release this chatbot to the public, that remains uncertain for now. Well, I mentioned a while ago that Elon Musk successfully tested Tesla's AI-powered self-driving car. Now here comes AI-powered drones from Swift. An AI-powered drone has outperformed human champion pilots by using a technique called deep reinforcement learning. It managed to secure victory in 15 out of 25 races against these world champions. Developed by researchers at the University of Zurich, the Swift AI won 50 out of 25 races against world champions and clocked the fastest lap on a course where drones reach speed of 50 miles per hour or 80 km per hour and endure accelerations up to 5G, enough to make many people black out. Our result marks the first time that a robot powered by AI has beaten a human champion in a real physical sport designed for and by humans," said Alia Kaufman, an expert who worked on making Swift. These are certainly some astounding AI developments for the week that you might not have come across yet. Don't miss out on the latest AI news. Click the subscribe button to stay in the loop.